particularly when you think about the stuff you've seen already from the guys who've presented already around how quickly the world's changing, around digital, around technology, around data, around what we can do. And yet in health, naturally, not just in Ireland. If you look at the, the issues that the NHS has had, the issues reported from the US, the world has changed fast. Other environments have adopted technology, and yet health predominantly hasn't been able to move so quickly. And we have a bit of a theory around that. Why is health the big oil tanker that is taking so much longer to change? The picture behind me is the business district in Singapore in 1969. In 1969, the people of Singapore said, regardless of what happens financially, politically, or technologically, technologically we will have a business district, because it doesn't look much like a business district in reality. And this is the business district now in Singapore. So regardless of what's happened, the government has continued, the people of Singapore have continued to move forward to deliver a change. Health is more politically driven than perhaps any other part of any country, and therefore sometimes loses its way. Our current plans, our ability now to move towards more of a 10-year vision of what we do with digital in health, allows us to actually do something different in Ireland. But... We now have an approved business case, approved by the HSE leadership, to deliver four pillars of an electronic health record. A national shared record for you to have access to, for you to be able to see who has looked at my clinical information. A community set of solutions that deliver systems that integrate out to GPs, pharmacy, and you, again, the patient. And the acute systems, the traditional electronic health record. But most importantly, integration. This isn't a single big database. This is using the hospital systems that we deploy to create a data layer that can be used for prediction, that can be used to take us forward. But this isn't quick, unfortunately. Easter Sunday this year, um, the cost of the electronic health record had leaked to the newspapers. Easter Sunday this year was obviously a big year for Ireland, particularly an English CIO in Ireland, when the newspaper puts a headline up that says, English CIO wants one billion of Irish taxpayers' money. <laughs> it will cost one billion euro over 10 years. That's about 17 euro a year each to move from those papers to a digital solution. In doing that though, we then start to do some pretty cool stuff with data, some pretty cool stuff with access. You may have seen in the press recently, the Minister challenged the HSE to look at what digital solutions can be deployed for waiting lists. And we heard this week he would like us to go ahead over the next 12 months with stuff as described on this slide. But I guess as patients, the most important part for you is you will be able to see your referral, you will be able to use your GovID to log on and change the date and time of your referral. You will be able to talk to somebody about your referral and have that information in front of you. And that will be within 12 months. 